Welcome to the how and what to safety wire on your racing motorcycle instructional video brought to you by Lean Angle Motorsports and Racemoto.ca. Safety wire is used in racing scenarios as an added level of safety for everyone. Any bolt that is undone often or any clamp holding liquid or any other vital components of the motorcycle must be safety wired in order to pass technical inspection. Front brake mounting bolts. Please pay attention to where the holes have been drilled and this will create a technical impossibility when safety wired together for these bolts to come undone on the racetrack. A good practice of safety wire is to bend over the ends of your wire to prevent burring. Up next, it will be the front axle and pinch bolts. When drilling your front axle and pinch bolts, ensure they are tight and then drill them where it is most efficient for locking. In this case, the holes are drilled near the bottom of the pinch bolts and axles. Lock them all together to ensure that there is a technical impossibility of those three components coming undone on the racetrack. Up next is the rear axle nut. From factory, a one-time use cotter pin is used on most modern sport bikes. I've used a race-specific cotter pin to ensure the ability to reuse and not lose it. I've also safety wired it to the swing arm of the bike so that it cannot be lost. Up next, brake banjo bolts. All brake banjo bolts on your motorcycle should be safety wired or at least siliconed. You can buy banjo bolts that are pre-drilled, but in this demo, they are not. After drilling a small strategically placed hole in the banjo bolt, you can install the wire around the metal fitting of the brake line or a strategically placed locking hole which has been drilled elsewhere. I wire it directly to the line. Front calipers, rear calipers, front master cylinder, rear master cylinder, and in the case of a hydraulic clutch, a hydraulic clutch master cylinder banjo bolts require locking. As you can see here, after the hole has been drilled strategically in the banjo bolt, it is being wired to the metal fitting on the brake line. It is also good practice after you cut the safety wire to bend it over itself so that there are no jagged edges. For the oil pan, we have drilled the oil drain plug and an oil pan mounting hardware to secure the drain plug to the hardware. Up next, the oil filter. We use a large hose clamp which is clamped around the oil filter which is already tight. In this case, there is a pre-drilled hole in this bike's oil gutter. We will use that gutter to lock the filter in place. Measure out the required amount of wire you'll need after you've fed it through the hole in the wire gutter. Then place it on the last rung of the clamp. Up next is the oil filler cap. The oil filler cap can come off due to vibration and is required to be locked in place. In this case, we're using clutch cable perch hardware, safety wired to the oil filler cap. Up next is your coolant lines. Anywhere there is a coolant line and a clamp, it needs to be safety wired for racing. The way that we do it is, we wire the last rung of the hose clamp all the way around the coolant line to the fastening body of the clamp itself. You must measure properly so that the wire will clamp in on itself. It is very easy to use too much wire in this specific case. You can see here how the wire will prevent this clamp from coming undone in the future. Please note there are hoses under your tank that need to be given proper attention to pass tech. Similar to your oil drain, the coolant drain should also be wired. 
you can tell which one is the drain by which one has a brass crush washer in the water pump housing on your motorcycle. If your motorcycle is air-cooled, this is not required for you. Last but not least is the radiator cap. The radiator cap can come loose at any point in time if not properly installed. We drill a small hole in the cap and then a small hole in some mounting hardware. And in this case, it is a plastic shroud. After watching this video, you should have a greater understanding of how to safety wire your motorcycle for racing. This video is brought to you by Lean Angle Motorsports and racemoto.ca. Thanks for watching.